something jiggles. It sort of wobbles around. It's uh, not staying in the same place, it's uh, kind of shaky. And uh, in Maya you have two jiggle deformers, at least in the current state of Maya. And one you find under animation because it needs animation, more or less. And here you find deform, and under deform is the jiggle deformer, right here. And we'll use this in a second. So let's keep this menu right here. Uh, the other jiggle is here on the mesh and utilities create jiggle deformer. We keep this here. Um, or I'll put it to the sides so you don't see it, I, I still see it. Now let's deal with the first jiggle first. We create a simple plane and the simplicity is important here. I press uh, Control A which opens the attribute editor move the jiggle menu out here as well and on the polyplane you can uh, raise the size for example but most importantly in order to see nice deformations is you need a lot of resolution here and 50 by 50 is basically good but 100 by 100 which means 10,000 polygon faces uh, is uh, even better so this is our surface and let's leave it gray because the jiggling can be seen quite well on a gray surface. Maybe click this icon here. Um, in order to make something shake and jiggly we need an animation which is pretty harsh. So let's go to frame say 10 and with this object selected we press the key S. It creates a keyframe down here. Now we want it to be at the same position right here at say frame 30 so press another keyframe and after keyframe 10 let's say 15 I want it to or 14 I want it to move drastically so it can really have a nice jiggling effect uh, let me move it here and some kind of up and rotate it like this and now press keyframe again. So when we run the simulation now, uh, actually it's a keyframe animation, it does this and nothing else. Now with this object selected I go back to jiggle. You might remember it's under animation. And under deform you find the jiggle right here. Okay, so this is the Jiggle Deformer. Let me close this window now. And um, does it work at all? Let's run the simulation. Yes, it does. You see quite, quite some jiggling here. Now let's try to tune this. We don't need the Jiggle Cache, the Disk Cache currently, because Maya deals with such a simple deformation in real time. Uh, let's go to the uh, Jiggle 1 node here. Uh, jiggling is enabled, you can disable it or enable only after object stops which is an interesting option too. We have it, it enabled and now um, let's reduce the frame range a little bit and play with the parameters here. So first of all let's raise the stiffness. Raise the damping. When it's more stiff, that's quite problematic because it uh, needs to serve the jiggle purpose, but uh, it's uh, totally stiff. So let's reduce the stiffness again. We can reduce the jiggle weight now. So it's just a little bit of waves in our object. more waves, more stiffness. And that's how you play with the parameters here. What we'll do now is we create uh, the same object as before. 
we do another animation now. So set a keyframe at frame 10. Set another keyframe at frame 30, same one. And right here at frame 13 or something, we move it and we rotate it quite a bit. Like this. And we set another keyframe. And now we can move a little bit away with the camera so we see everything all right and this is the animation we have no jiggling of course because there's no jiggle deformer involved but it will be there in a second we go to mesh utilities and the jiggle deformer we create the jiggle deformer from that geometry interestingly we don't need a mesh network in this case in uh, most other mesh uh, appli applications uh, you cr start the process with this icon here you create a mesh network we don't need this here the jiggle deformer is already here in place and actually it is right here mesh jiggle go to frame 10 set a keyframe go to frame 30 set the same keyframe again and go here to say frame 30 13 and just move it up quite a bit and rotate it like this and like this and set another keyframe and uh, when we select the tab here and click select we get the surface deselected so we see more precisely what's going on and you see the jiggle deformer working already it's a uh, different animation obviously because I set different keyframes and it's a different algorithm working on the jiggling process here now let's reduce the damping for example you get a harsher start of the whole simulation let's increase the damping the jiggling moves more into the middle into the inside let's reduce the stiffness to zero and to a very high value totally stiff what we can also do is uh, decrease the strength of this effect has no effect now I guess we can even put in a 3 here no only a 2 okay so that's the maximum number for the strength and we have a stronger ripple effect now and the random strength is a very critical par parameter as well just like in the ordinary jiggle deformer so this is what you get here this high resolution shakiness like here now the difference between the two jiggles is basically that you have a section here which interacts with mesh tools for example the, uh, the fall off object the fall off object is basically something special to mesh because it creates a sphere which does not render uh, but which controls where what kind of effect is right mouse click in this area here and create and it's done so we have this object sitting right here that's the default uh, position here in the center of the scene so um, let's run the simulation and you can see that it's quite different because nothing happens in the middle where the fall of object is and if you move the fall of object if you move it slowly through the whole scene like set a keyframe here go to the last frame move it all the way there set another keyframe um, this is the simulation you have so you see how it moves along and the ripples here move along that wave deformer let's make this a little bit more drastic have a nice day bye bye